Hello, Financial Future Fam. Today, we've got some groundbreaking updates on a potential boost to Social Security benefits. This major development is making waves, all thanks to a certain presidential candidate gearing up for the upcoming election. So, let's dive into the details, why it's grabbing headlines, and what this means for your financial future. But before we jump in, could you do me a quick favor? Take just two seconds to smash that like button if you appreciate these daily insights into the world of Social Security. Alright, let's get into it. Over the past few weeks, there's been a surge in reports about lawmakers advocating for more support for Social Security. The big question is, why now? Well, it's a classic move that happens every election year. Lawmakers go all out with promises, trying to outdo each other to win your vote. However, this time, there's some substance to the chatter. Here's the scoop. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is taking center stage with her plan to reform Social Security. And guess what? Donors are opening their wallets, ready to back her with millions. One notable billionaire, the co-founder of Home Depot, is even questioning the current entitlement system. He's saying, why should someone like me be getting government funds? Haley's proposal targets the unnecessary beneficiaries, aiming to redirect funds to those truly in need. But hold on, there's another player in the game former President Donald Trump. He's got some grand plans to overhaul Social Security and ensure its solvency beyond 2034. Now, here's the kicker. Haley is suggesting raising the full retirement age for folks in their 20 and 30. She wants to trim down benefits for high earners and redirect those funds back into Social Security for those who need it most. Will it happen? Maybe. The ball's in play, and the game is on. Now, let's talk strategy. Trump's game plan involves expanding oil drilling to fund Social Security benefits. In a recent interview, he highlighted reversing decisions to cancel oil and gas leases in Alaska. This move, he believes, could offset the need to increase the retirement age and keep the benefits flowing. However, critics are skeptical citing projected revenue from drilling as a tiny fraction of Social Security costs. In the midst of all this, some key players in Congress are bowing out, leaving around 40 lawmakers deciding to call it quits. The balance of power is shifting, with potential Republican control looming. If Trump or a like-minded candidate takes the presidential seat, get ready for more oil drilling on the horizon. So, where does this leave us? Discussions are heating up, proposals are flying around, and the future of Social Security hangs in the balance. The big question remains, how will these potential changes impact your financial future? Stay tuned as we navigate through the twists and turns of this Social Security saga. If you're hungry for more updates and insights, Show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing to Financial Future. Don't miss out on the latest scoop tick that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next episode.